Do you feel our current society has the attention span and mental capability to watch and process a good story in a movie? Yes and no. Yes and no. I, you know, I see my kids, they're, you know, even my, even my wife. I mean, it's like, the, I'm like, what are you laughing at? Oh, this is the Instagram, <laughs> you know, and they're just flipping through stuff. And I do, I, I do think that people's attention spans are, are shrinking some um, because of the way we're, we're consuming information now. Uh, I think where it hurts the most, in my opinion, I think it hurts in the arts, obviously. Um, when you, you know, you, you have people that, you know, you, you can't, it's like, that movie's two hours. Ah, I, can get <laughs> I, I can't even forget about it, you know. I, or, or a book. How many people can read a book anymore? It's like, they, if, get, get, try and get them to read an article, you know, or, or, or something like that. So, but where it hurts is in is in news and and consuming knowing how to consume uh current events knowing how to consume uh science knowing how to consume what's important because people don't have the 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 won't take the time to sit down and really read something and absorb it. So you're getting your information from YouTube, no shade on you because these are nice, long, ridiculously long <laughs> interviews that you do. <laughs> but, you know, it, it's like, I, I read an article today in my news feed about YouTube shows that are, are uh, YouTube, YouTube channels that are creating a false AI black celebrity stories. And they're getting tons of hits and making a gank of money. And the stories are complete BS. You know, there's, there's you know, uh, I won't even say the names, but it's, it's BS, it's bull. And the, so the, 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 the need to consume stuff so fast and accept things uh, without doing any kind of critical research, which is more important now than ever, because there's so much, there's so many lies, which is why I was saying I was impressed with some of the questions that you had, because people just don't have, they, they won't take it upon themselves to, to try to discern what's real or what's not. They get their information from shady places or from, or, or just from any, any social media X or Twitter, whatever they want to call themselves now, and all this nonsense is like, you can't, society is slowly falling apart because no one, some people know what's real, but too many people don't know what's real and assume that some shit is real. And then a lot of people just don't care. And, and you mentioned this word critical earlier, man. It's this this critical thinking is, is a is just a lost art that's not there. You know, it it really is. And it, it's like you know what's interesting is like because I, I write and I've, I've been I, I I've been trying to uh, I write mostly scripts, but I've been starting you know playing around with short stories and other things. And <laughs> what you see in some of these things is like, well, you should write. You should write for a fifth grade level for most people. Yeah. And I taught in, I taught in public school and the seniors that were graduating were about fifth, fourth, fifth grade reading level. And they were graduating high school, by the way, going right. into society. Right. Some and, going to college. <laughs> right. <laughs> and and some some yeah, some writing uh, some writing advice now is you're, you know, you got too many big words. <laughs> no one's going to understand you. But you go back and you look at what people used to read. You look at how politicians used to talk. Half, half of our country, more than half of our country, wouldn't understand what anybody was saying. Because they just, the, the, the art of 
Well, it's not even an art, just the, the, the you know, e even people who didn't go to school understood these words. They, 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 their intelligence level uh, for language was just raised in the put way like, they consumed. Put it like this. The, our local paper, the Star Ledger for New Jersey, was at an eighth grade reading level, and this wasn't the New York Times. Right. And no disrespect to the Star Ledger, but it was at an eighth grade reading level. Right. And, and probably a lot of people now would find that challenging. Very difficult, you know? Yeah. And that's that. And so, you know, when you have a society with no critical thinkers, you end up with make America great again and <laughs> red hats and a bunch of nonsense. And it's, it's, it's depressing. It's depressing. And, and it's, it's crazy because you see, you know, there's nothing worse than seeing white people at these damn rallies, uh, black people at these damn rallies. That's, that's the biggest insult. That's the biggest, like, are you kidding me? But, you know, I, I, I think that they, <laughs> you remember, you know, how they, they would have tests for uh, black people to be able to vote. They need to bring that shit back for all these white folks. Because I guarantee you, they could not, half of them don't even know who Abraham Lincoln was or the first two presidents. They don't know what, a, what the Constitution is or why or any, they, they, they're, Donald Trump's cult of personality is the perfect thing for how people consume their news and information now because he's nothing but a constant soundbite. And he says the same thing over and over. And people that, wanna, that, that don't want to read or don't want to learn, they accept it. And it's, uh, it's, you, it's, you know this, man. You know this. Everything works perfectly. You know? Everything's working as intended. Uh, yeah, if, 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 if <laughs> the that's how I really analyze the world because, um, what you have to remember too, what you see, everyone doesn't see because you see more because you have that, you're a director, you're a creative person. So, uh, a lot of times what we see is not what the average person sees. That's true. That's true. Cause I we mean, can analyze. I think the gift is to analyze stuff while you're in it while other people need to be distanced in time and space to analyze something. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, you, I, and I hope that, like some of the things that I do, you know, not, not all the film work that I do, but the things that I write, I'm hoping that it touches on something, you know. Uh, I think uh, the, the greatest compliment that I ever got from anybody about any of my work was I had met a couple of uh, people at different times that said they stopped gangbanging because of Tales from the Hood, because of the, the story with Lamont Bentley and Rosalind Cash and that whole thing. They're like, oh, yeah, I, I, I'm the problem, or I'm part of the problem. And, and, you know, you could argue that you're put in a position where you feel that that's what you have to do, um, to get by, but not everybody makes that choice. So, you know, it's, it's not a, it's, it, that's not the necessity. And, and, you know, l let's say you do need to steal to get your milk or to get your bread, but you don't have to kill, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not, I'm not saying that everybody that, I'm not saying that, that, you know, you, you can, that the world is so perfect that no one can ever do something that is uh, uh, considered a, a criminal act. But, you know, murder, killing your own, killing your own community is not necessary.